Yes, good day and welcome to this episode of the Land Rover. Uh, I am finally going to show you the floor I've made uh, and even the color of the car. I'd, I haven't forgot that uh, this time. <laughs> Hopefully, I haven't forgot it yet anyway. So here I'm cutting the floor out. Uh, this is the passenger side and I'm going to fold it up. Ta-da! Uh, I will just, I have to cut this corner off to match this one, the bell housing. So, I will do just that. Here is with this out there and to get the right angle, I measured from this edge. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I measured from here, plus 20 millimeter that I want to fold to this, where this ends. And I did a little mark on the this one so when i have this the whoop, so when i have this perfectly straight i traced the same marking on the floor and that gives me the distance from here to here and when i measure that from here, in, I got exactly where this little lip is, plus five millimeters. So this can move a bit when, so I get it attached right. Uh, yeah. So I am going to, not even I understand what I did, but I'm going to <laughs> cut this corner off anyway. So, <clears throat> so here is this one. Uh, I'm going to 20 millimeters here, fold up. Um, if I can, 20 millimeter here, fold this up so I can attach this to the other side. It's hard to weld them, it's much easier, more, less flimsy if you fold it up. It's a bit close here. <laughs> So I might cut off a little more and um, as you can see it's very close here and it's extremely close here. I'm going to fold 20 millimeters up from, from this one so it will clear just fine. And here is where I made a little mistake. I cut the whole corner off. I should have cut to here then go straight but yeah. This is my first ever floor I'm building, so I'm <laughs> counting with mistakes. Uh, this original floor was up here and I'm going with the floor down there. So I guess the doors, uh, I will need some square tubing on top of this to seal under the door so yeah something uh, the reason why i don't have the floor up here because i gain 30 millimeters more room i mean this will be folded up anyway but especially on the other side um, and even the shares i can mount the shares 30 millimeter lower so that's how I <laughs> approach this. <laughs> Just weld more shit on top to seal under the doors. But uh, yeah, it will look good. So that's why I'm thinking this. I haven't decided what to do yet. Uh, if I'm going to, it's too long from here to there to fit in my sheet metal folder. So I might just 
I don't know if I want to stack another piece on top and seal with body sealer. Yeah, that would work. That would work fine. I mean, yeah, why not? Or I'm going to cut this if I'm going with 25 by 25 millimeter square tubing, I will cut this 25 millimeter in. Yeah, I haven't decided that yet. Stay tuned and you will see. <laughs> As I said, this is the first ever floor I have ever built, uh, I'm going to build, so be nice. Whew. And uh, I will have the... Uh, this might have been a mistake too, I don't know, let's see. Uh, the uh, bead roller, I want to roll a few to make it less flimsy. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go a circle and then three in the middle, perhaps. Uh, these are going to be up, not pressed down. I guess, I haven't decided that either. Probably they will go up. Um, otherwise they will fight with this one. I want to have the, the round, the circle quite close. Quite close here, not in here. So yeah, probably go up. As I said, this is the first floor I've built. So yeah, let's start uh, folding. Yes, and then you improvise. <sighs> Sad day when you kill the wall art. Now I have no clue what to do with the car. I mean, the recipe was on the wall. So that's it for this build. So here is the piece, the floor panel. Um, I'm going to. I have folded uh, just about everything. I sort of fixed my little mistake earlier. Not much missing there. <laughs> so I folded this, welded some pieces together. Uh, I had to cut with a grinder a few places just to fit this uh, in the um, Kantvik. The fold machine. <laughs> it's a little gap over here, which I am totally okay with. Uh, and I have make, make, and I made traces for the bead roller. So uh, the outer line, 
uh, is going to be let's see <laughs> step up and those one two and three is going to be just uh, like this I will just go to straighten straighten to strengthen this up so hopefully that will be good but uh, the bead roller is a two-man job uh, since I don't have any since I don't have any motor on that so this will be done tomorrow and so will the other <laughs> piece of the floor be so yeah Yes, so quite a bit of difference. I can't move this one with one finger anymore. I can... <clears throat> hardly move it at all, so... Make a huge difference. Of course. <laughs> And here is the end result of this bead roller. Uh, the paint is actually the engine paint I used on the engine. So this is a Land Rover original uh, engine paint. Here is some tools for the, the dice. And yeah, the dice is, sits on top of this. It's yeah, here is this one. I have no idea why I did that. <laughs> you have already seen that one. <laughs> And here is a test piece I made to see if I could get uh, the sheet metal straight, not uh, flimsy flimsy like an oil can. Not very beautiful beads, but uh, my trick worked. I don't need an English wheel. <laughs> I will show you later how I did this fantastic piece. And here is a... Uh, yeah, I had to do this for the box on the frame. I will weld it up, of course. And here, my friends, is the shortest gearbox in the world. And ta-da! Here's the uh, paint I'm going to use on the Land Rover. It's an original Land Rover paint. It's called Pastel Green. And I think the color number is 005. Question. What do you think about the color? Am I stupid that it's going to paint it? Or uh, should I use another color? There is a few I like. There's a gray and there's a couple of blues that I actually like. But um, this green is what I think I'm going to paint the car in. So, um, so what do you guys think? Yeah, this is a bit out of sequence. But uh, <laughs> I'm building the uh, reinforcement for the frame. I made a huge notch in the frame to fit the uh, transfer case so I'm stacking three pieces um, side by side on top and I will get a lid on this little reinforcement so yeah by the way here is the fastest welder in the world caught a bit of fire there no no big deal. Uh, the holes are for getting weld to the middle one. So I will weld that as well. Here is the finished reinforcement of the frame. So this is 
what I did. Um, I need to stretch the metal a little bit where the beads are going. Otherwise the metal will be uh, very flimsy. So uh, I tried this. Hammer on the concrete floor. It worked out quite well actually. <laughs> Better than I thought. So yeah. Um, an ordinary carpenter hammer on a concrete floor. So now it's touching. I'll set this line here at one of the edges of this one so I don't have it in the middle. I will go there. And this is now touching, so I will count my turns with this one, so it's the same everywhere. One, two, three, here we go. The first one turned out pretty okay. The lines are a bit <laughs> But uh, it's okay for me. Hey yeah. Tada! Here are both panels uh, with a little merge in the middle. Like with, yeah, like that. This one is bead rolled. This one is not yet. Here is for the little box I had to do in the frame. I will just box this floor piece in. And here is <clears throat> a low car cable shifter. That's where all my money went. <laughs> so that's actually it for this episode. Uh, one floor piece ready uh, but bead rolled cut folded the other one is just cut and folded it needs bead rolling and bead rolling is not a one person job uh, it would have been much easier and the end result would have been 100 times better if i had someone to crank but i don't it's the middle of the night everyone else is asleep <laughs> and i wanted to have it done um, because I'm impatient and I'm a bit stupid, actually. I could have waited for tomorrow, but no. But anyway, um, I did it myself. Uh, it's gonna be uh, covered with, with uh, uh, carpeting, so I, I don't care, actually. <laughs> if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this episode, uh, give it two thumbs down. And uh, if you're not subscribed, I guess you are. I don't have many viewers, but yeah, if you are not, here, subscribe, means a lot. Well, I have 314 I think I have now, that's cool. 
See you in the next one. Bye.